It was a busy weekend for the Towson basketball team. The Tiger Basketball Report, brought to you by the Green Turtle, starts now. Welcome to another edition of the Tiger Basketball Report. I'm your host, Bill Marikas, along with the head coach of the Tigers, Pat Scary. Coach the Tigers go down to Charleston, uh, an arena you're familiar with because you play there every year, uh, to take on a lot of really, really good teams in the Charleston Classic, which has got to be considered one of the top five holiday tournaments here in this 2019-2020 uh, season. Yeah, uh, Rob Knox, our outstanding SID, said it was like rated the third best tournament this year. It was great. Was great crowds. Uh, you know, would have liked to come out two and one and probably should have. We, 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 uh, we gave one up. I liked our response against St. Joe's. Um, certainly played three really good teams. Uh, but all the teams, they were, you know, high-level high teams. I think it's, uh, you know, ESPN does a first-class job running it. All the games are on national TV. I mean, when's the last time have we ever played four games in a row on national television? Um, Never. So a lot of things, I think, for us to learn about ourselves and, and, and get better at. But like I said, I'm still very excited about our, our group. I liked our response on Sunday against St. Joe's. I think I just told you, you know, we're 5-2 and two versus the Atlantic 10 in our last seven games. Probably should be 7-0, and oh, but we're 5-2. and two. And before that, we've got, we've got two Atlantic 10 wins in the, you know, the school history. history. Yeah, so you know, we, we, we've been, you know, we want to try to schedule, continue to schedule aggressively. Now, the Xavier game kind of got out of hand in the second half. You come back the next day against Buffalo, and, and the team came out very strong. So there was no after effect of that Xavier game. The problem in the Buffalo game was that late in the ball game, they took over. Yeah, I mean, I didn't think, I thought Xavier, we kind of hung in the balance till about seven, eight minutes left, and then they had a kid off the bench, made three straight threes and got fouled on one, and we didn't have a good night shooting the ball at the foul line, or, or um, I thought our shot selection wasn't great, but they had a lot to do with that. And then Buffalo, yeah, Buffalo's good. I thought we, you know, we're up seven with under two, so we should have found a way to win. We messed up a defensive assignment. We had um, three costly, costly live ball turnovers. Um, and you know, ended up losing the losing the ball game. Uh, we turned it over a lot. I thought our offense was better as far as shot selection. But that, that's certainly a game we watched a lot of film on Saturday, as a group. That you know, I told our guys if, if in 105 days we can't watch film because the conference tournament's over and we don't want to be Heartbreak City. But if we can learn from that, um, you know, some of our uh, I'd say our inability to follow training down the stretch is what what hurt us. But that's like I said, hopefully we, we, we learn from that. Now, that's probably something you can't really harp on too much because you don't want it in guys' heads next time they get into a close ball game that, uh-oh, we can't make a mistake. No, no, you don't. Certainly guys aren't trying to make mistakes. We had a couple errors on just catching and facing, you know, something we try to spend a lot of time on. And, and like I said, we, you know, we've just got to do a, a better job at that, um, you know, one of those, one of those. We have one good possession. You win, you win the, you win the ball game. Um, but, you know, uh, it was, we was, we're certainly not satisfied with where we're at. Um, we've had a couple of, you know, three tough, tough losses against sure. pretty good teams. But um, there's, there's some encouraging things, and, and we hadn't shot the ball well up until the St. Joe's game, and. I've been really happy with our defense. Our defensive numbers, other than one half against Xavier, are, 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 are really, really good. So if that persists, I know we're gonna, I know we're gonna make shots. So I thought that showed on Sunday. 
And on Sunday we saw the emergence of a couple of guys that one hadn't been playing and one was kind of struggling. Jawan Gray really had a great first half for you against St. Joe's to help you build that lead. And then Nick Timberlake came on strong in the second half, hitting a couple of big threes. Um, he's been somebody that you haven't had so far. Now all of a sudden you've got a new ingredient to throw into the mix. Yeah, we got nine guys that I'm really comfortable with finishing, starting, whatever, you know. Um, and, and, and if we can, we need to stay healthy. Um, and if we have that nine, that's going to be big for us by the time the league rolls around. I was laughing at Nick. I said, you know, yeah, at the airport the next morning, I said, you're off a little over three weeks with an injury. You haven't played in a year and practiced 20 minutes before we play against Xavier. And Xavier, Buffalo won 28 games last year with a lot of guys back and then an Atlantic 10 team. So not exactly wading into the water. But it was good to see him. He's, he's, a, he's a good player. He's competitive. He's tough. Uh, it's a guy we trust, so it was good to see him make some shots and get going a little bit. So the Tigers go one and two in Charleston. Um, they have a few days off, but on Sunday they will take on the Big Red of Cornell. Tune in later this week when the coach and I will discuss the Tigers' matchup on Sunday between Towson and Cornell. So for the head coach of the Tigers, Pat Scary, I'm Spiro Marikas. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Tiger Basketball Report, and as always, go Tigers!